ella porque tenemos Okay, guys. Hello, welcome hello, back. Hello, hello. Sure. So welcome. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend and you have enjoyed your day off. <laughs> I don't know if you worked yesterday or some of you have your day off, but I hope you have recovered all your energy from the last week, right? That's that's why that's that's why we have the the weekend <laughs> for relaxing. Okay, and let's see. Oh, just twelve, and we are twenty four. Well, I have the the other ones and connect to the to the class. Now we are going to share the screen, and we are going to start to see what we have for today class. Okay, what we have for today's class? Let me see, guys, what we have here. Oh, I think I have to move this. And I oh, I'm okay. Okay, guys, uh, today, as I told you, we're going to start to work on, on section four. This is the third week. That means that we only have this week and the next one in order to finish the, the model, right? I hope uh, that all of you uh, have been paying attention during the last classes because the, those topics are very interesting. And even the one that we have for today in section four, I'm not wearing boots. What this is me, I'm not wearing boots. This is making like a something emphasis, like something that you are not wearing. Wearing, wearing means the, the thing that you have on your body. That might be a teacher, and that might be a calf, that might be a, a pants, that might be a, a, some sneaker, high heel, shoes, Flat fleet, and well, in this case, we have rain call, we have dress, we have pajamas, we have swimsuits. Oh, swimsuit and a spiro. Guys, uh, do you know what is the meaning of a spiro? A spiro is something that, that you can wear, a spiro. Spiro, I don't know if some of you have heard about that. The Spiro. Teacher, tal vez este el puntero creo que no lo ha activado porque. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, I forget that. Oh yeah, there we have. Yeah, thank you, Henry. We were talking about swimsuits, but I was telling to you another one that is called Spiro. I don't know if some of you have heard about Spiro. How many of you have heard about Spiro, guys? S P E E D O, Spiro. It's a famous. It's a, it's a It is also a famous brand in swimming sport. Yeah, it is like a. It is a, a synonym of swimsuit. It is a synonym of swimsuit. It is an uh, it is like a another way to call swimsuit. Mm, how you can translate it, that into Spanish? Traje de baño. Traje yeah. de baño. And they say apply with with espiro. Espiro means they say like this one in Spanish, but it is written in a different form. Spiro. Spiro is like uh, the outfit like in most competitors uses during a swing context. The, those are some of the famous ones. And it has like a, a little arrow uh, to the side of the hat and even to the other section of the, of the Spiro. It is a famous brand. 
the, the 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 majority of the swimmer I think they use that that brand. Okay, I'm not wearing clothes for work. Do you know even here in El Salvador we have like an a special outfit? What do you mean outfit? What can we refer uh, if we talk about outfit? Vestimenta. Yeah, outfit, we can refer to the vestimenta. The outfit is everything that you are wearing from the top of your head, from the tip of your tongue, of your toes. Uh, that's everything refers to outfit. In, in this case, we're going to talk about some outfit. What, what might be those ones? Clothes for work. Here in our country, we have especially clothes in order to, to go to the work. You won't go to the work with like a baggy jeans, wearing a, a, a teacher with a lot of hole because that is the fashion, because you are you're still being a young guy, a young girl. No, no, no. I think all of you in in work, do you have like an, a specific outfit or a specific, in this case, we might call it like a, a uniform, right? Some of the people have like some uniform with some tax. The tax said, said the name of the company for the one you work. And even you have like a, a specific colors, and what else do you have in your work? Oh, in the one who works in the in the in the industrial uh, areas or section, uh, also their footwear. Uh, it is like a like a um, more expensive. Th those kind of shoes are more expensive, but the uh, I, the majority of the company, I think, they they give. Uh, those implements, I think, but I'm not sure about it. And what about the ladies who works in some office? The ladies uh, must go very formal with the hair brush because you won't go to the work with with your hair like you when you wake up in the morning, like a looks like like a sponge or. You can go with your face without a make covering or something like that. And in the case, you might wear some jacket, some scarf. If you see, you might wear, uh, and you might wear like a long dress or just only a skirt. And in your heels, but the majority of the world, them, them, is they ask for short heels, and there are also like a nail heels. Those nail heels, uh, I think that is like like a challenge for the majority of the girls wearing 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 nail heels. What is nail heels? Nail heels. Nail heels. Tacones. Ladies, tacones. Well, which one? Eh... Alto. It's very tiny. Alto. Mm. In the picture. No, 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 no. The one that I mentioned to you, del que estoy hablando. Uh -huh. Plataforma. No. no. Nail heels. Los tacones de aguja. Yeah. Uh, yeah, those ones. Thank you, Alexandra. Those ones, the most dangerous and famous ones in the woman industries. Yeah, because if you make a bad step, you might pay the consequences of your bad movement. <laughs> I I have heard that some, some women uh, uh, had some fractures on their heels uh, because uh, 
when you are when they are walking their foot like uh, moves to a side and that might cause like a fracture and that's why uh, those kind of heels are very difficult to handle that's why i think some of the the all of you girls prefer the the short one right or the platform i think those one for you are the are the best because you are comfortable you are secure and you can walk without worry about if you can damage your your knees, your heels, all of that. Okay, we have in this case clothes for work. What this man has? He has a shirt. He has a a tie. He has a tie like you see over here. He has a belt. He has a, a nice jacket. He has a nice jacket. He has some pants. The jacket and the pants makes uh, a whole thing. This whole thing is called suit. The whole, where, the whole thing that he's wearing, that is called a suit. The jacket and the pants. Okay. And he has the shoes. What do you think? He might wear a sport shoes or formal shoes. Formal shoes. Formal, formal shoes. shoes. Yeah, formal shoes. You can go to war dressing like this and wearing sport shoes. No, that is like a very contradictory in, in the work industry because you must be very formal. Even I have seen that there are some some shoes that look like a, they were formal, but at the same time, they are like a sport shoes. But they don't look well at all. They they still looking like a, a sport shoes. The only thing that change is the color. Some of them are black, some of them are brown. And no, I don't, I don't, though, I don't like it though. Those are styles. Okay. In the case of the lady that we have here, she's wearing a blouse. We mentioned the scarf, the skirt, and the heels. High heels. Mm -hmm. High heels. That, yeah, those who are, I think, are high. <laughs> but you just can call heels. In this case, I think our high heel. They made this emphasis. Uh, this put they put this between parentheses. I think like a, to to underline a little bit more the, the name of this one. Okay, what about clothes for leisure? What about clothes for leisure? What can you understand about guys? Clothes for leisure. The ocio. The ocio, or for your spread time, or when you are going out, when you, or maybe when you take a nap, so something like that. All of all of them are synonyms. All of them are synonyms. Okay, what about the girl? Oh, casual. Yeah, casual. Thank you. Okay, sure. Okay. Mm, she has a, a hat. She has a sweater. She has some gloves. Here in El Salvador, I think just we only use gloves when we are working with 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 heavy things, right? No. And, and I think the majority of you don't use gloves at home, at work. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah, also at home. You can rubber rubber gloves yeah, when you washing the ditches. There, yeah, you can use rubber gloves. And in this case, we have boots. Oh, what about the guy? The guy has a cap. 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 He has a teacher. Mm -hmm. He's wearing shorts. Mm -hmm. He's wearing socks. 
does does the people still wearing in, in this way with 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 long socks? No, right? No, I think people nowadays or you use short socks or you don't use because I seen that it's like a look like a very weird wearing like a long socks, especially when you are wearing shorts. That won't be a problem if you are wearing a pants, but in this case, when you are wearing a short, no, that, that will be like a, something extremely weird. Okay, what about the sneakers? He has sneakers. In but you won't, you won't, you're not going to tell me sneaker is the chocolate. No, 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 no. This is another, another type of, of sneaker. Okay. Uh, in this case, the, in the club for war, uh, for the men, we have the raincoat. And for the girl, we have a dress. Yes. In this case, the, the dress uh, refer like a, like a short dress or maybe might be like a long, a long dress. I think the two of them might apply in, in in this case, like the long one and the shorter one. I think that the, the two of them might might apply. In the case of the girl and the and the guy, the wearing the clothes for the issue. We have the pajamas and we have the swimming suit. Swimming suit. Here in El Salvador, I, I don't think that, that the majority of the people use swimming suit. In in all cases, when you go to the beach, what, what do you a usually beach, wear? A beach. A beach. On the beach, what do you Shorts. usually wear? What do you Shorts. usually wear? Shorts. 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 What else? T-shirt. T-shirt. Do you, do you wear your flat fleets? Do you know what is flat fleet, right? The flat fleet. The one that you use on your foot. Chanclas. <laughs> the famous chancla, the famous gina, the famous chancleta, the famous what else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of them, all of them. That, those are the ones that, that we use when we, we go to the beach because the sun is very hot. That's why we decide to wear scent. Yeah, because I, I, don't, I don't think that to all of you like to get in born all of your food with the hot sun. No, especially at, I think at, at in, the, in the afternoon between 12 and three o'clock. Oof, that is like a, extremely hot. Extremely, but extremely hot. That's why I, I don't recommend you walking around the beach without using your sandal or your flat feet. No, 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 no. Or using your crops. Yeah. The majority of the people nowadays, they use also, also crops. I remember them because I think I have my pair in, in, in the cabinet, I I don't I don't use it too much. <laughs> and well, guys, and what are you waiting? What are you wearing for going to work? In this case, and uh, hello, Christopher, how are you? Hello, Christopher. Christopher, what do you wear for work? What do you wear? Um... Mm, uh, uh, teacher. Do you use t-shirts? Mm -hmm. Pants. Pants. What else? Belt. A belt. Oh, thank you. A belt. Uh, uh, Do you use formal? Do you use formal or sports shoes at work? Um, formal and sport. Ah, you you can use both. Yes, you can use both. Oh, that 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 might be, that might be that might be great. Don't worry. Okay. And well, what else? And we're going to see in the case of 
Alexandra, hello, Alexandra. Yo. Hola, Alexandra, teacher. Oh, sorry, Alexandra <laughs> Elena. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry, 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 Alexandra Elena. Yeah, yeah I, I, I forgot. I was forgetting that I have two Alexandra, but one is Elena and another one is Melissa. Okay. Sorry for that. Sorry for that, girl. Okay, let's continue. Let's let's going to see what we are here. Okay, Alexandra, uh, for going to work, what do you usually wear? Leisure, oh, swag. Oh yeah, tell me. Maybe the one, the same that we have here, or you use a different one or something similar? Similar. And the shirt, uh, mm -hmm. olvida como se dice falda? A skirt. A skirt, uh, short skirt, and mm -hmm. sneaker. And a sneaker. Oh, you, you, your outfit is like, a, I think it's very comfortable wearing your, your outfit. In the in the case of the lady, not in my case. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, well, don't confuse about that. Yeah, I I I don't like skirts. <laughs> okay, thank you, Alexandra. Thank you. Now we go with the another Alexandra, Alexandra, Melissa. Okay. Okay, Alexandra. What do you usually wear for going to work? For going to work, okay. you usually wear pants, clothes, and uh -huh. clothes and sneakers. <laughs> what else? Eh, eh, este, se me olvida cómo decir tenis. Oh, like eh, you can you can say tennis or sports shoes. Or running shoes. Four shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, that is that is your your outfit. Uh, eso es lo que viste. Uh -huh. mm, okay, thank you. I'm going to see who else. Jocelyn, hello, Jocelyn. Edit. <laughs> I can Hi. hear you. Oh, okay. Now I hear you. Okay, Jocelyn. Welcome. Jocelyn, uh, Jocelyn, what do you usually wear for going to work? I usually, I'm wearing sweater, sweater boots, and boots. pants. Sometimes oh, I usually hat. Oh, that's, uh, that's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Thank you, Jocelyn. Thank you for your participation. Now we're going to see who else wants to help me and participate. Let's going to see, guys. Uh, Claudia, hello. hello. Hello, Claudia. How are you, Claudia? Hi. You're good, Claudia. I'm tired. So, so, kind of tired. I'm I tired. Think, I, I think all of us, we are tired. Yeah, but... Well, the thing is that uh, we have to keep in the classes, but that's why we, we do our best. Claudia, what do you usually wear when you are going to work? Um, sneaker. Sneakers? Yes. Mm -hmm. Shirt. And shirts. Okay, sneaker, jeans, and shirts. Okay, thank you. Abigail Martinez, hello. Hello. Hello, Abigail. You were paying attention about what we were talking about, about the, 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 the outfit, right? Okay. Uh, Abigail, what do you usually wear when you are going to work? In jeans. Jeans. In shirt. In shirt. Sí. In the case of your shoes. And you wear sport shoes, formal shoes, casual. No sé cómo le llamaría los zapatos casuales. Casual. 
<laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Casual, casual shoes. Okay, you, you might say that, that. Thank you. Thank you for your participation. The, okay, guys. I think that the majority of you have different outfits. The, also, the outfits are according to the season because you are not going to wear a, a sweater if you are in summer. I think no, nobody nobody do that. We, because in the case uh, uh, when it is raining, I don't think that uh, the people will use umbrella. When it's raining, the majority of people use umbrella or something to cover from the rain. <laughs> okay, let's let's move to our next slide. Oh, there is someone else that would like to participate in this section. I don't know. I have somebody else. Uh, what about you, Henry? Henry, you, you didn't help me to to Hello, you. hello. Henry, in, in your case, what do you usually wear uh, when you're going to work? Uh, T-shirt, mm -hmm. uh, pants, uh, shoes, sport shoes, and casual shoes. Hmm. Okay, sport shoes or casual shoes. Oh, oh that, that. that is good. Okay, I think we're going to... Oh, uh, Angel, Rano, hello, Angel. Hello, hello. Hello, Angel. Hello, Angel. Angel, what do you usually wear when you are going to work? Um, industrial shoes. Um, oh, the industrial shoes. Uh -huh. Yeah, they want that has uh, protection. Casual shirts. Casual and shirts. pants. And pants. Oh, okay. That is the, the, the outfit that you use the whole day when you are going to work, right? Okay, let's see who else. Thank you, Angel. I think I'm going to choose one guy. The team Marine, the Dolphin Way between between Jose and Marlon. So dramatic teacher way. Oh, Marlon, you're going to be the next. <laughs> Marlon Isaac. Marlon, what do you usually wear when you're going to work? Uh, Super shoes, shorts, shoe. uh, uh, a los hombros. Sorry? Uh, como a los centros, no sé cómo se le dice. What, what are you trying to, the what? Centros. Oh, the, the, the like, uh, in, in, in this case, like, uh, like an inside church might be in this what? day, like inside church. Inside church. Uh, yeah, it might be like a synonym for that, inside church. It's like the famous uh, cloth that you used uh, before that you used the external church. That might, that might be the, the case. Okay. And what else? Uh, I can hear you well. Let me check something. I, I don't know if I have, I didn't. Uh, let me check something right here. Yeah, this was the problem. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Uh, I don't know if there are someone else who wants to participate. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have no one else. Now we're going to move to our next section. What we have here. Complete the chart with words from part A from part B. Oh. Guys, we're going to mention some clothes that we can use in warm weather. And we're going to mention some other that we can use in cold weather. Which one we can use here in, in warm weather? Shorts. Shorts. T-shirt. 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 Mm -hmm. Hat. Hat. We can use a cap in, in warm weather. 
Cap, waters. Sunglasses. Oh, sunglasses. 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 Umbrella. Umbrella, yeah, umbrella. Umbrella. I, I don't know if you have made the comparison that here in El Salvador we call sombrilla. You say in a, you say bring me the sombrilla when it is raining. What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, in Spanish happens something very weird because we call it uh, we call it sombrilla that that came from sol. And we're going to use something from the song uh, when it is raining. In Spanish, like a like a very funny and weird case at the same time. I consider that. But in English, umbrella, it's it's umbrella. The only thing that changed is according to the season or the uh, that the you want to use it because if you say I'm going to use the umbrella today because it is very sunny and I need the umbrella because it is raining it is still the same umbrella umbrella but in Spanish because we translate it though in those cases might be like a little bit weird like the one that we have sombrilla and paraguas those ones are the most common that we use here in, in El Salvador, but it is the same thing. In Spanish, es lo mismo. I don't know why we have two different nouns for for the same thing. I don't know why why Salvadorian people we have that kind of custom that to the same thing we put a lot of names. We put a lot of names, and even at the uh, at the end. It is going to be always the same thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, we stop on sunglasses. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. We can do we can use swimsuit uh in warm weather, especially when you are going to the beach. Yeah, because here in El Salvador, here in El Salvador, and like uh, when you are in summer or when we are in uh, during the rainy season, the weather is the same. But in the U.S., it's completely different. During the summer, uh, the beaches and the temperature from the water is like a, like a kind of warm, but it's still being cold. And in winter is worse because it is completely cold, 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 cold. That's why uh, the majority of the people don't go to the beaches during the the winter. It's even they close the beach. The only people that maybe swim uh, during the during that season is are the one that that have like uh, the house next to the next to the ocean but the the other ones like like uh, the the public in general they don't they they don't like to try uh, the ocean during the during the winter okay what else guy can we mention in warm weather pañuelo oh yeah we can we can use like uh, our famous, our famous pañuelo, yeah. Like, a, it, it is like a the scarf, but in this case, like a, the, the scarf might be like a, for men and for women. I, I think that that might apply for this, the, uh, both genders. I uh, I think in this case might apply in that case. And what else? Can we use flat slits? Mm -hmm. Sandals. 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 Yeah. Sandals. Sorry, guy. My my dog was barking, <laughs> and still barking. And and well, in this case, we use sandals, flat feet, 
The new one that are cropped. Sport shoes? Oh, sport shoes. Yeah, sport shoes. Yeah. Those ones are the the one that most uh, are used in, in warm weather. Sport shoes. What else? What else can we use? What else? You can you can look in your cell phone and you can tell me, guys, which other thing we might use on warm weather. Mm -hmm. No, in warm weather. Who who was speaking that I couldn't hear you? What else can we use? Mm -hmm. I'm wearing a shirt. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I'm wearing a sport, a sport a shoes, and I'm wearing cap. Mm -hmm. Have you heard the word mascada? Mascada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mascada. Mascada are the one that ladies the use. Especially when uh, the war, we have warm weather or a very sunny day, the mascara is used over over your head, and you accompany it with sunglasses and also with a hat. With sunscreen. A... Sorry. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Yeah. That's something that we can use on warm weather. But in this case, we are making emphasis with with the with the clothes, right? But but it is it is a product that we mm -hmm. use in, in warm weather. Okay. What about in the case of of cold weather? Mm -hmm. a scarf. A scarf. A scarf, a gloves, a uh, jacket, gloves, jacket, boots, 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 uh, boots. Wa waterproof. Oh, waterproof boots. Yeah, yeah. In, in those cases, during the the winter, here in El Salvador, are better the waterproof. Or in this case, the rubber, uh, rubber boots. Boots, boots, boots. Yeah. Uh, no, some people, gloves. the glove. Some people also a use a scarf. Scarf. Okay. Uh, some other people use leather boots. Also, leather boots are are good, are great for 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 cold weather because those one makes that your foot get warm. And that's that is like uh that is what permit the, the but uh in the case of the cold weather but in other countries like the country when uh, snow when it is snowy and uh, we have like a, a snow boots uh, this one mm -hmm. have have like a special material like uh mm -hmm. in order to keep uh, all your uh, the whole day your food warm very very warm. It's like a specially something made of of, of so, anti slippery. Yeah, they are anti slippery, but in, inside the material, I uh, uh, I think it's like a a, a a mixture between cotton and a, another synthetic material. So mm -hmm. you feel well your your feet. Yeah. Yeah, Termico. the only Termico. Termico. The, yeah, that might be like a something like a like a kind of terming material, something like that. It might be. It might be. Well, what about the other one that we were mentioning here in El Salvador? In El Salvador, the, when the weather is cold, we we use pants, or you use you you just only use your pants. Uh, sport pants. Sport pants or pants? Those ones are the ones we we use. Socks. Pants. Socks. Socks, yeah. When it is cold, we use long socks. When it is hot, we mm -hmm. use shorts. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because we we don't we don't want to use long socks in in, in warm weather. No, that is going to be extremely like uh like comfortable. Yeah, I I think yeah due to the due to our wonderful weather that, that we have here in El Salvador. Just in some in just the the area where the weather is like a a little bit colder and. Yeah. Those people really enjoy wearing long socks. But in the other part of the country, I think they they don't. And what else we might have, guys? Mm -hmm. What else? The coat. Yeah, the coat. The coat. Okay, the coat. I think just just those ones were the, the one that we. We already talk or we're we already selecting this in this case. Guys, how many of you live in a place or when the weather is it is cold? None of you. Nobody. No. Nobody. No. Yeah, I think you are like me in this case. Uh, uh, even I use it, I am using the fan, but I am I am sweating. I am sorry because now that we don't have more rain, I think the the weather is like um like getting warmer and warmer <laughs> through the day I passing by. Okay, and I think we already understand those section about the the clothes that you can use on warm weather and the one that you can use on cold weather. Let's going to move to our next slide and see what we have here. Oh, we have something gray. We have colors, colors. Here we have white. We have dark gray. Dark we have gray. we have brown. We have mm -hmm. light gray. Mm -hmm. We have beige. We have dark brown. We have gray. Oh, okay. Wait, guys. Okay. Okay, we have gray, we have light brown, we have black. In this pa in this palette or, or palette, I, I don't I think in English in Spanish it is the same the same thing, palette. Palette. And we have the red color, we have pink, we have orange, we have yellow, we have light green. We have green, we have, sorry, light green, we have green, we have dark green, we have light blue, blue, dark blue, M. Borrarse una es la familia, los tres. And we have uh, the purple. Okay, guy, who wants to help me telling me this color, the one that we have here? Please raise your hand. Okay, Graciela Tobar, you're going to help me. Graciela, tell me all the colors that we have right here. White, dark gray, brown, light gray, beige, dark brown, gray, light brown, black. Okay, thank you. Dalila, you are next. Okay, Dalil. Uh, help me with this one that we have here. Red, mm -hmm. pink, mm -hmm. orange, mm -hmm. yellow, mm -hmm. green, mm -hmm. green, uh -huh. green black, blue, blue, uh -huh. dark blue, and purple. And purple. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You did great. You did wonderful. Okay, let's see here. Ta -na -na -na. Oh, oh, oh. oh Cel Cecilia Montero. Hello, Cecilia. Hello. Hello, Cecilia. You want to help me with this color? Hey. Starting right here. Red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue. Purple, purple. No, purple. Purple. 
Purple. Purple. Purple, uh -huh, purple. It's like a purple. And like a, your 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 mouth is like also something close, like purple. Yeah, it's like, like a very weird pronunciation for this color. It is very weird. The purple, the color purple. Okay. And let's see who is going to be our next contestant. Let's see who we have right here. Mm, Abigail Martinez, hello. Abigail, hello. Hello, Abigail. I, I, do you mind if you turn on your camera? Uh, hey, who, who else? Who else ha, have the, the the Oh, Giovanni Vladimir and Hugo Leonidas, please uh, turn on your camera. Yeah, because it is a requirement, guys. I was telling you the last time. Giovanni Vladimir Cruz, please, uh, if you can, uh, turn your camera on, please. Uh, I think that Giovanni, it is not. Uh, Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni is having some technical issues. Hugo, uh, help me. in this case, help me. You had to participate. Yeah, because I remember you, even the last. Uh, Hugo, you were paying attention, right? Este, ¿Cómo la pregunta? You're going to help me to repeat the color. All this color, red, pink, orange. Yes, but it's the red, pink, uh -huh. orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue. Dark. Dark blue, eh? Ese color, sí. Purple. 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 Mm, purple. 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 A purple. <laughs> no, 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 no. Por. Pur Pur purple. Purple. Let's go to. Uh, okay, thank you. But try to keep your camera on, please, guy. All of you try to keep your camera on. Okay, thank you. Jose Mauricio. Jose Mauricio, Alvarado. okay. Jose Mauricio, help me with with the whole color that we have here. Start starting here and finish with the purple. Uh -huh. and red. No, pink. Henry. You're going to start here with white, dark gray, brown, and then you move to this section. Uh -huh. no, no entiendo. Comenzar aquí con estos colores y luego seguirá con esto. Eh, purple. <laughs> no entiendo. Va, comenzará con white. You're, you're later going to move with dark gray. Uh, you're going to say all of them. And after yeah, you yeah, finish. Yeah. Ok. <laughs> ok. White. Ajá. Uh -huh. Dark gray. Uh -huh. Brown. Uh -huh. Light green. You're going after Henry. Beige. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dark brown. Uh -huh. Gray. Uh -huh. Light brown. Black. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Red. Uh -huh. Pink. Uh -huh. Orange. Uh -huh. Yellow. Uh -huh. Light green. Uh -huh. Green. Dark green. Light. Light blue. Light blue. 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 Blue dark. Dark blue. Dark blue. Uh -huh. Purple. Purple. Okay, thank you. Henry, you are next. And after uh, after Henry, uh, you are going to be the next one, Alexandra Melissa, okay? Okay. okay. The color are uh, white, dark uh -huh. gray, brown, light gray, beige, 
dark brown, gray, light brown, and black. Okay, Henry, in this case, we have brown. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Light gray. Okay, now light here. Gray. We, mm -hmm. Light we are gray. Light gray, okay. Let's continue here. Uh, red, mm -hmm. pink, mm -hmm. orange, mm -hmm. yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, and purple. 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 Uh -huh, purple. Okay, thank you. Purple. Okay. okay. Alexandra, you're next. White, dark gray, brown, mm -hmm. light gray, gray, mm -hmm. brown, gray, light brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. And purple. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Guys, in this case, what are your favorite colors? What are your favorite colors? Please raise your hands and tell me which one are your favorite color. Who wants to help me with this part? Alexandra Elena Barrera. Okay. Uh, Christopher, you're going to be next. Alexandra, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color is light green and green. Uh, Alexander, in this uh, case, in this case, you, uh, you uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, yeah, yeah. No, don't my worry. favorite color are uh, red uh, and purple. <laughs> red and purple, okay, red and purple. Those ones are your favorite color. What about your case, Christopher? Which one are your my, favorite color? What are your favorite, favorite color? My favorite color are green and blue. Green and blue, okay. Thank you, Christopher. Green and blue. Green and blue are your favorite colors in this case. Eh, Carlos Eduardo Ramirez, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carlos Eduardo. What are your favorite colors? White. Mm -hmm. Dark gray. Mm -hmm. Blue. Gray. Like green, beige, dark brown, gray. Mm -hmm. Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. <laughs> the, eh, I think you you confused. This is the question that I'm asking you. What are your favorite color? In Spanish, ¿cuáles son sus colores favoritos? That, that's, what, that's what I'm asking for. Red and black. Oh, red and black are your favorite colors? Yes. Just two? Two. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, Carlos. You just only have Henry Vladimir Cruz. Henry, what are your favorite colors? My favorite colors? Teacher, uh, white and black. What? White and black. White and black. Okay, white and black. Uh, Graciela Tovar, uh, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color are pink and black. Oh, that, that, that is a very good combination, especially when you have a, in, a close, in a close room. You paint one wall with pink and another one with in black, <laughs> yeah, those those the uh, black and pink are like uh, some of the most famous color uh, or the preferred one that uh, people used to have. Uh, Abigail Martinez, hello, Abigail. Oh. Hello, Abigail. Abigail, what are your favorite colors? My favorite color is black. Solo ese. If black is your only famous favorite color. <laughs> Oh come on! Oh, I I know maybe why because you you I I don't know why I'm not sure you were in in, the, in that time. Remember the the guy that you used to wear the uh, everything. Yeah, look at the The black. Uh, remember the guy who used to wear uh, the hole from the top to the bottom. Everything wore in black. Are you safe for the ah that, that's why you your favorite color is, is is black in this case? Okay, thank you. Let's going to see what else we have here, guys. Now we're going to move to our next section. 
Okay, we have a conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Pat. Gray, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. <laughs> Here's a light blue blouse. Is, is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Oh, this happens when you, you mix uh, light, light color with dark color in, in the in the washing machine. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Mm, they're mine. Sorry. That was everything that she said. Just sorry. And, and she calls a completely mess with her with their new with their new jeans. She made a completely mess. Okay guys, I would like to yeah, just Pat and Julie. I would like to participate, the one who wants to help me with this dialogue, Jocelyn Yesenia Sanchez and Alexandra. Okay, Jocelyn, you're going to be Pa, and Alexandra is going to be Julie. Okay? Okay. Let's go into start at the count of three. One, two, and three. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blues? Blouse. 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 It's white. Here's a light blue blues. Is your blouse? Blouse. Blouse. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no! I our clothes are like blue. Like blue. Here's, here's the problem. It's hey, it's this new blue jeans. How's jeans? Are they? Oh, they are mine. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's something that might happen, especially if you use Spanish in your clothes and you have dark clothes with light clothes. That, is, that will be a whole completely mess. Yeah, I remember one time when I did that, I, I, I saw that that black jeans uh, uh, won't uh, spread its color during the laundry and I really was the uh, trust of myself that that won't happen and that happened that that color uh, mixture with the other clothes and was a whole completely disaster and that was how I learned to separate uh, clothes in their different colors <laughs> that's that's that was how I, I learned it. in order to do my laundry exactly as it is okay and who else wants to help me for today let me see who, who wants to participate and Graciela do you want to help me today yes I do Bimpal. Uh, what about you Christopher you're going to be Julie Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, we're going to start the count of three. One, two, and three. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blue? Mm -hmm. What color is it? It's white. It's a light blue. Light blue blue. Blouse. Yours? Uh -huh. Blouse. It's yours. No, it's not mine. Wait, it's, it is mine. It's a disaster. Uh -huh. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Is this new blue jeans? Whose jeans are they? Uh, they are my sorry. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for your participation. And, and well, uh, this is going to be everything for today's class. Uh, do you have, okay, guys, uh, just to remind you something, uh, start to work on section four, no, section, in section three, section right? Three. Section three, three. So, sorry, I confused, in section three, section four. The uh, start working in the exercise. Uh, if you finish 
the uh, uh, as soon as it's possible, that won't be a problem. Uh, but in your case, you have until Friday at midnight in order to finish. Uh, I really appreciate your participation. Please try to be on time. Please, please, I really appreciate that and uh, that you are trying to be on time. I hope to see you tomorrow. This is going to be everything. Take care and have a good night, guys. I hope to see you good night. tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye-bye.